There's something out here. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, look, I got one. Oh, man. At least I know they're out here. That was one. I actually saw them that time. It was just a little one. <laughs> okay. I know they're out here now. It looks like it actually gets pretty deep out, off the concrete right here. So, but I don't think there's gonna be anything substantial in it. Sounds like thunder every time somebody rides over, rides across that bridge. I'd like to pull at least one out of here. Well, there was a bite, but they're not catching the hook. So, what I'm going to do now is open it up just a little bit, so maybe I'll get some better penetration, get a hook up. That one that time, yep. Little bitty one. I knew there was something in here. Oh man, he fell off. Yeah. Looks like a little spotted bass. Maybe it's a largemouth. <laughs> I knew there was some in here. I think that first one I had was actually a little bit bigger, but he slipped off. The problem with Yamamoto Senkos is they don't last very long. They get torn up easy. And you gotta start finding new, different ways to hook them on. The regular Senko, that's not a big problem. You can always wacky rig it, but swim Senkos, a little more specific you know at least I know there are bass in these little creeks okay this looks like a much better spot if I can find a way to get down there looks like this might have been somebody's camp site bra hanging from the tree there a pair of pants over here oh man that's a good spot over there it's a big storm drain man look at this old five inch floppy drive I wonder how long that's been sitting here.
that's where I want to cast. Close enough. It's hard to get in there because all the trees. It looks like it might actually get pretty deep over here. Yeah, it's pretty deep out here. There is potential to be some decent sized fish in here. And I'm willing to bet that nobody ever fishes in here. Yeah, not only is there an old floppy drive, there's an old Nokia cell phone. Man, these, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. These are one of those bricks that just last forever. There's an old screwdriver here. What else we got? Looks like an old thermostat. There's an old little radio in there. Some pretty interesting stuff in here. It's all, looks like there's some old stone foundations over there. I don't know what they might be from. Yeah, some kind of old metal frame right here. I didn't even notice until right now. I don't know what that's from. Maybe a handrail or something. You know, I bet in the springtime, this is a great, great spot. All right, I'm coming up on another one of these little low water crossings for the creek. See if there's any fishable areas around here. I've always seen people throwing cast nets here catching bait, but I've never seen anybody use a rod and reel. But it's probably because of how small it is. The water's actually flowing the opposite direction over here than it was over there, so. Oh look, got one. Oh man, well, at least I know they're in here. First cast got one over here, but he slipped off. That was a little bit better than the one I caught a little while ago. Uh, that might be a fishable spot up ahead, but I don't see any way to get out there. All right, I had three for sure that I saw. But two of them got off. I only landed, only landed one of them. But that proves that there are fish in these waters that will go after Senko, so there's bass out here. This creek right here, the water's running that direction. On the, the next one up this way, the water's going the other direction, so they're connected. They kind of zigzag through the road here. And over here, Back in this way, there's a little pool area that gets pretty deep and the creek splits, it forks and it goes off that direction or it comes from that direction and then it also goes off that direction through a tunnel in the hillside and I would like to be able to get back in there and see where that tunnel leads but I'm also going to toss out right here right now <laughs> 